I wanted to wish you a very happy new year. I wanted to express my gratitude to you for being a fellow traveler on this path that we are all on. And honor and acknowledge your place on the path and on the planet at this point in time because there is a reason that each of us are here together trudging our way through. I wanted to share this little passage from this awesome, very wise book, Anamkara, a book of Celtic wisdom by John O'Donoghue. The Dancing Mind. There are many different kinds of solitude. There is the solitude of suffering when you go through darkness that is lonely, intense, and terrible. Words become powerless to express your pain. What others hear from your words is so distant and different from what you are actually suffering. Everyone goes through that bleak time. Folk consciousness always recognizes that at such a time you must be exceedingly gentle with yourself. I love the image of the field of corn in the autumn. When the wind catches the corn, it does not stand stiff and direct against the force of the wind. Were it to do this, the wind would rip it asunder. No, the corn weaves with the wind. It bends low, and when the wind is gone, it weaves back and finds its own poise and balance again. <clears throat> when the wind comes, the web lowers the grass until the wind has passed. Then it comes back up and finds its point of balance and equilibrium again. These are beautiful images for a mind in rhythm with itself. We put terrible pressure on our minds. When we tighten or harden our views or beliefs, we lose all the softness and flexibility that makes for real shelter, real belonging and protection. Sometimes the best way of caring for your soul is to make flexible again some of the views that harden and crystallize your mind. For these alienate you from your own depth and beauty. Creativity seems to demand flexible and measured tension. In musical terms, the image of the violin is instructive here. If the strings are tuned too tightly, they snap. When the tuning is balanced, the violin can endure massive force and produce the most powerful, tender music. Only in solitude can you discover a sense of your own beauty. So let us remember the importance and value of being with yourself, being quiet and peaceful, alone with your thoughts and utilizing that to our benefit. Every day until January 7th, I am offering a daily meditation every day at noon for about 30 minutes. Each day has its own theme. And so far it's been quite enjoyable and wonderful, as much for me as it is for everyone else. So just wanted to send out that invite to you if you'd like to join me hop on through our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Kim Vidya Yoga on YouTube. And uh, it's out there for any of you who would like to join us to help us build, strengthen and develop our source connection to ourselves and strengthen that. I'm grateful for you. Thank you. Namaste.